Kia ora everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel of hiking and photography adventures in Aotearoa. Andrew here and today is a very exciting day because today we're outside the property and for the first time in many many weeks we are going to buy coffee. Ah, that's better. Ho ho ho. Been waiting for this a long time. So we're going to find somewhere to drink the coffee. That's our first step. And then I'm going to talk to you about what we're going to do for today's video. Hi everyone, great to see you again. So today I'm going to do a little exercise that's about focusing on a particular subject. One of the common things you see with beginner landscape photographers and your kind of tourist photographer is they will find an interesting subject, let's say a beautiful vista or a, um, you know, a famous tree like the Wanaka tree down in uh, the South Island in New Zealand and they'll turn up they'll take the obvious photograph of the wide vista presented to them and then they'll go on their way and then they'll go to a new place see a new subject take the obvious angle big wide vista and carry on now what often sets apart good photographers from those kind of touristy snapshotty photos is simply taking more time to explore your subject fully and a great way of doing this is to head out find a single subject and take lots of photographs of that one subject. Now, I don't mean lots of subject photos that are just different angles of the same subject. So we shoot the tree from this direction and then we go around the other side and shoot it that way. I mean really exploring the details of your subject. So certainly arrive, set up, get that wide shot and establish that photo of your subject in its environment. But then pull out a macro lens or a telephoto or move in really close and start looking for details and pulling out little pieces of your photograph. So that's what we're going to do today. I've just uh, headed out for a little walk along a local river. It's a track that I've walked along many, many times. I'm very familiar with. I've photographed it many times. But this time I'm going to look for one particular subject and I'm simply going to photograph that subject in as many different angles and perspectives as I can. And we're going to see how that enhances my perspective of that photograph. Okay, let's get to it. Hey everyone, so I found a subject. Uh, my subject is this row of trees here on my left, on your right. And uh, so I'm just going to take a few photos and explore the subject. Now, it's not the most amazing subject in the world, um, but um, part of my reason for choosing it, and a tree is quite good for this exercise, is that it kind of just gives you lots of options. There's lots of interesting textures and details and different angles it's easy to get around the other side of it and stuff like that it's a bit tougher to do that with you know like a mountain so gonna have a little play a little explore of these trees and see if we can uh, get a few different angles and see what we come up with cool let's go
So uh, I've shot uh, a bunch of different angles and a lot of detail at this location. Uh, I'm just going to get one more shot from the far side of the river, a big wide shot looking back at the trees. So we're going to head round and do that and then we're done. Hey everyone, so we're on the far side of the river and I've got this really cool composition and we've got the river flowing through in the foreground which looks kind of cool. The river's up quite high because the last couple of days we've had tons of rain. It's been bucketing down. So um, I'm going to put my variable ND on. I'm going to try to get a long exposure um, which might uh, give it that glossy kind of blurry motion on the water that everyone just loves so much. In this instance I think that's going to help draw attention across the water and focus on the trees. So it's just a really nice symmetrical kind of shape which is kind of interesting. We'll see if it looks alright or not. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the actual photographs. Um, this is more about um, the concept of exploring different angles. Um, so I'll just show you a, a bunch of the different photographs I took so you can see how I kind of found different angles, different details to select. Now um, I shot all of this with a single lens which was my Leica 10-25 1.7. Um, if you were to utilize a bunch of different lenses you could potentially get an even greater variation in your shots. Uh, maybe if you used a macro, a telephoto, as well as a wide angle. But uh, even with a single lens, uh, I hope this video kind of shows what you can do. And the, the really cool thing about it I think is that rather than uh, have you know, a single photograph of a subject. Or maybe it's, you know, you've got two or three photographs of a subject, but they're all the same photograph, really. They're just different angles and slightly different perspectives. What's cool about this is that you can get a whole bunch of different unique photographs of one subject. And that really tells a more interesting story. It's like a kind of a little photo essay on the subject. So. Head outside, find yourself an interesting subject and just see how many photographs you can uh, take of that same subject and uh, explore different, different styles of photography, wide shots, details and so on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you again soon. Until I do, please take care and be safe and well and we'll see you again soon.